Today's case diamond live is with Mr. Sam Kim in the studio. Please say hello to our listeners, please. Hey guys, um, it's singer songwriter Sam Kim. Hello, hello. <laughs> We're so excited to have you, buddy. Sam Kim is here after two years on right. Super K-pop. It's been a while. It's I can't been believe a... it's been that long. It has. It's after I released um my first EP. That's when I came. I remember. And then two years, like two years. Almost two years and a half, mm. right? Yeah. After I released uh, Sun and Moon. Yeah. And now I'm here. It's been a while, man. It's been a long time. Mm-hmm. Great to have you. Um, two years. You, your kind of vibe seems a bit different to two years ago. Does it? You feel a little bit more mature. Oh, my I goodness. Don't know. And the music, too, as well. Uh-huh. Lots of things must have happened. Do you, do you th- what do you think's changed the most, do you think, from, from that time till now, two years later? I would say um, the kind of music I listen to, a lot of things have changed, oh, actually. Wow. Just, um, just, I guess it's just the part of growing up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I... The type of music I listen to, the kinds of food I eat. Yeah. yeah it's a lot of a lot of things. Tell us about that. So what were you listening to then and what are you listening to now? What, what's the difference? I would say back then I would listen to um, just whatever came on the radio. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of um, pop songs and a lot of, mm. you know, Justin Bieber yeah. <laughs> sort of mainstream chart music right yeah. and yeah. I still love mainstream music but now I'm more into the kind of underground artists that oh nice yeah y- y- like you know um, oh man it's hard to explain here mm. but just like a lot of the like the jazzy s- stuff and the yeah. more disco kind of stuff nice yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm really into that kind of music lately I get that. I get that. Very good. And then you also mentioned food. Mm-hmm. So what, what? Wait. What's the difference with food? What, what were you eating then? What are you eating now? I don't know. Back then, I would eat a lot of just. I wouldn't even eat food. I would just eat just chips. Just <laughs> a lot of junk food. A lot of food that isn't healthy for you. Yeah. And lately, I've been actually kind of, kind of focusing on mm. uh, food that's better for you. Oh, nice. As a human. <laughs> yes, good. So you're eating human food now. Human which, food, which is great. Right. <laughs> Back well, then, just a lot of junk, but yeah. Give me some tips. What should I watch? Because I, I've got to say, I spend a lot of time in my in my studio just uh-huh. eating. Because you know, when you're work, work your music, you tend to eat junk food whilst you're doing right, it. Right, just it happens. It, it happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me some tips. What should I be eating? Oh man, I try to get the vegetables and the and the fruits in via smoothie. Oh. Via smoothie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you 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 mix them up, and that's a good way to do it, though. Yeah, it's just a quick. You know, we're busy yeah. all the time, just no time. So, yeah, yeah, quick way to get your vegetables and fruits. That's a good tip. If you're like, if you feel like you don't have enough time, there's actually no excuse because <laughs> you can actually make a smoothie and, and take that, right? Yeah, and then the pyeonijums here in Korea, they're so convenient. They yeah. sell like, you know, vegetables, fruits, apples, and yeah. stuff like that. So, so the, yeah. The conveni- there's a convenience store in every corner as well. Mm-hmm. So you can go and, and get stuff there. That's oh, yeah. great. Good advice. Like that. That's a good way to start 2018. Um, of course, Happy New Year to you as well. It's the last day of 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about what's going to happen next year for you because I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting one. But um, this year, you've released your first full-length album, which is brilliant, Sun and Moon. Uh, obviously, you worked on it a lot as a producer as well as a, a singer as well. Right. Um, tell us about it. Um, sun and Moon, Does is there a split between the types of songs that suit the Sun and Moon? or what Exactly. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so there is a song called Sun and Moon in the album. Yeah. And uh, I felt like just writing the other, not writing the other songs, but organizing the album in a way where it, Mm. It just um, kind of circles that song, would um, just be really nice. Mm-hmm. The sun and moon kind of portrays light and dark, you know, kind of like sadness, happiness, kind of stuff like that. Yeah. And I wanted the people to listen to the album and just, I wanted to show how much I've grown in the last two and a half years. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it just kind of shows all that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the the response has been fantastic. Um, lots of people are saying the album is filled with Sam Kim like music. Sam Kim like music. Sam Kim like music. Is which, there such a thing? Which is the best compliment ever, I think. When people say that, do do you have an idea what Sam Kim music is? Oh man, uh, I think I do have an idea. Yeah, I have an idea. Like there are certain uh, chords that I really like to use. Yeah, or there, you know, that I play a lot of guitar, mm-hmm. so maybe guitar kind of acoustic kind of vibe Mm -hmm. uh yeah maybe so the type of chords i mean you say that i think as a musician you can kind of see 
there are calls that you particularly there like. There are definitely the voicings that people yeah. like like to use. Yeah. Every every artist has their own kind of right. sound, you know. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that guitar. Um, is every single song on the album guitar based? Not, not every single it's one. It's not right because I love writing songs on the piano too. Ah, so I was going to ask you because mm -hmm. when people think of Sam Kim, they think of the guitar, right? Right. Because he performs a lot with a guitar. I would say so. For example, like songs like "It's You" and "Sun and Moon." Mm. And what else? What else is there? Yeah, songs like that I wrote mm. on the guitar. Right. But songs like "Bukiryo" mm -hmm. and mm, songs like "Would You Believe" and mm -hmm. "Makeup." Yeah. Those songs are on the piano. Oh wow! And I started learning how to produce. That was how I started. You know, those are the songs that I started writing. Yeah. Interesting. Does do you think um, it comes out different the song depending on the instrument you play on? It does definitely. Yeah. I feel like mm, on the guitar because I'm I've been playing guitar for so long. Yeah. And just like writing songs only on the guitar, it kind of boxed me in. Right. Or you know what I mean. Yeah. You get used to it and you get comfortable. Mm. So writing on the piano kind of gave me access to different um, voicings and different mm. chords, different colors. Right. And yeah, nice. different music. Well, we look forward to lots of different kinds of music from you in the future as well. Um, lots of artists have wanted to collaborate with you. There's been lots of people like saying they want to work with you. Out of the ones you've worked with recently, because there's, there's quite a bunch of people, yeah, do, you, do you have one artist who was particularly memorable or that you enjoyed working with? Memorable? I mean, they're all so... They're all experts at their own style of music, yeah. you know. Like, for example, like, IU, she's, you know, she's an amazing vocalist. Mm. And she's also just, like, really into, um, I don't know, I think she's really good at certain genres that mm. aren't very well known by people. Right, right, right. But because right. she's IU, she's, like, you know, she she can do that kind of stuff. Sure. And still make it really poppy and mainstream yeah. and just yeah. really awesome to hear. And Crush, he's just an expert at what he does also. Sure. R&B, that sexy kind of vibe. Yeah. Zico's an awesome rapper in yeah. his own right. If I were to pick one out of all of them, I feel like... I can't. It's I don't hard. know. That's a, that's a good list, by the way. <laughs> three <laughs> three of the top artists in Korea right now. They're, they're yeah. amazing. And it was an honor to work with them. Good. I mean, obviously, recently you've worked with... Uh, you mentioned Zico. Mm -hmm. How did that sort of come about, you working together? I so I wrote this album with a team. Their mm -hmm. name is Tigo Mandu, which directly translates to hot dumpling. Hot dumpling. That's a good name for a music. Oh team. yeah, it. There's a saying in Korea called Tigo Manda. Yeah. It's basically saying I'm gonna make it or break it. Yeah. And they they phrase that Tigo Tigo Manda to Tigo Mandu. I like that. Yeah. So it's a cute kind of name. You can tell they're already geniuses. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can tell just. Oh yeah. Bit. Good. It consists of two people, a pianist named Hong Soo Jin. She's actually the band master for uh -huh. artists like, you know, Taeyeon and, and IU nice. and Crush. And Chok Che, he's an artist himself. Uh -huh. He writes and produces his own songs and stuff like mm. that. They're, they're the team that I worked with. Mm -hmm. And Hong Soo Jin, Nuna, like I said, she had connections to Zico and IU and, mm -hmm. and Crush. Yeah. So out of, just out of, as fun, we decided to... Uh, show them the music as we were working on it, as we were producing oh, wow. everything, and they loved it. So that's how I know Zico. Zico just really loved every single song. So he was like, "Let's work together. Let's do mm, something." Mm. Crush nice. the same, and I hear the same. That's amazing. Yeah, it so was a lot of fun. That's great. I mean, I'm looking forward to some different collaborations you might have. Is there one person you want to work to work with that you haven't worked with yet? That I haven't worked with yet. There's so many. There's so many talented artists in Korea that I would love to. Yeah. If I had the time, I would work with them all. Yeah. Uh, Think about it. For example, mm. like, you know, I've been saying this a lot lately. I would love to work with Lee Jina. Lee Jina. She's from Antenna and yeah. we still haven't worked with on something together. Ah. I would love to collaborate with her. Um, I would love to collaborate with Dean. Just yeah, to just to you know there. finish the the fancy <laughs> child triangle. <laughs> that would be brilliant. That would, well, EG, now you can sort that out yourself. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've got a way to kind of uh, get working together. I'm sure there's going to be some some great work next year for us to look forward to, which is brilliant, indeed. Right, uh, Sam, we've got to do. Uh, this TMI interview thing that we prepared for you. Oh, TMI. Now, it's my first time doing this as well on the Super K-pop. Mm -hmm. It's the first time ever. We, we've done it especially for you. Oh. Which is going to be fun. Okay. So basically, how it works is, 
you have to answer 30 of my questions mm -hmm. within two minutes. That's so not a lot of time. That's 120 seconds. That's not a lot at all. Okay. Um, if you succeed in answering all the questions, the staff will be giving us some warm drinks. Now, Ooh. they're very evil because they've put the drinks in front of us. It's it's right there. It's just, I they, can smell the vanilla. <laughs> it's it's we, we ordered a vanilla particular drink and it's just, it's right in front of us. If we fail, it's going to be the worst sort of five or six minutes talking of our lives. Possibly. Oh, no. Yeah. So we're going to have to pass this one, I Let's think. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm right. Ready. So, 30 questions, two minutes to do it. I'm going to have to speak very fast as well. Sam Kim, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Question one. How old are you this year? I'm 21. Where were you born? I was born in Seattle, Washington. How big's your family? My family consists of mom, dad, brother, and sister, younger. Do you have a pet? I do. Right now, his name is Inu. He's a cat. Favorite food? My favorite food would have to be, right as of now, Italian. Favorite drink? Favorite drink? This vanilla latte that's sitting right in front of me. Alcohol tolerance? Weak. Drinking habit? Sleepy. Sleepy habit? A sleeping habit? Yeah. I I think I have friends that talk to me. They say I talk in my sleep. It's okay, okay. Music, uh, sing as music you listen to growing up. Growing up. I love Luther Vandross. Sing a little bit. Tiny bit, tiny bit. Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, man, I can't think of a song. Stevie Wonder. Okay, anything, uh, anything. Um, um. There's a ribbon in the perfect, sky. Perfect, perfect. Most recent movie you watched? Uh, most recent movie is Avengers. Favorite movie? Favorite movie, I would say to this day, is Interstellar. Okay, favorite book? Favorite book? I don't read a lot of books, but okay. there's it, it's it's a it's a song that I I'm not it's a book that I read when I was young. Where the red friend grows. <laughs> okay, favorite band? Favorite band? Hyogo. Favorite show you want to appear on? Favorite show? Chungo de Popchik. Okay, fashion style. Fashion style? I like street and classy and casual. Uh, inspiration writing songs. Inspiration writing songs. I, it depends on the weather. It depends on the day. My mood. Yeah. Okay, uh, memorable performance. Memorable performance. Um, there was a performance that I held in in Kuri. I okay. think it was like two years ago. It was okay. a lot of fun. Your biggest strength. My biggest strength. Um, music. Weakness. My biggest weakness is um organizing. Do you care about your fans' comments? I I do. Okay, have you pretended to be a fan and wrote a comment? No. Favorite season. Favorite season would be winter. Sing your song you listen to before sleeping. Before sleeping, Lewis uh Cole. It's a. You always pick up your phone. Okay, good. When driving. When driving, I don't drive. Uh, dancing. I do not dance. Okay, so you're not gonna show us. Oh no. Okay, uh, was it like was it fun to do a fast interview? It was. Things to say to the fans. I love you. Yes, we did it. We did it. One second room. Oh my. Oh, oh. that's amazing. Oh no. Oh. Did we do it? We did it. We had one second wow, left. Wow, that's insane. Can I tell you, by the way, we, I did a practice run before this with our team, uh -huh. and we we did it with like. 30 seconds to spare. What? And I thought, okay, it's going to be fine. And uh -huh. then whilst doing this, I realized this is going to be really tight. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. Sam, you can you can drink your coffee, mate. Go for it. Are you going to give... Oh, thank you, buddy. Let's go. Cheers, was... buddy. Cheers. Me and Sam did a cheers there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's possibly... Arguably, the most nervous I've been on Super K-Pop. I really wanted this coffee. Oh, this How is, is it? really nice. It's good, right? Very, very nice. We have good coffee in this building. Still warm, too. Absolutely. While we enjoy some of our coffee, people at home, why don't we have a listen to another one of Sam Kim's uh, songs? This one features Crush. Uh, it's called Makeup. There we go. We just heard Sam Kim's Makeup featuring Crush. Of course, Sam Kim with us here in the studio for today's K-Star Alive here in Super K-Pop. Um, the perfect way to spend the end of the year. I'm sure you guys will agree at home. Um, our next bit that we're going to do with Sam is our three pick segment, which is great because we get to listen to even more of his music. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. So uh, beforehand, we asked you to choose three songs. Mm -hmm. And I, I just got to say, you've chosen three good ones. <laughs> three very good ones. We're going to talk about the songs that have been chosen. So you ready? I am. Let's have a listen. So tell us about this first song. This song is a song called Seattle. It's um, it's a it's a song that I wrote about my lovely hometown. Yeah. And it was a song that I wrote when I was feeling very homesick. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it it features the lovely Ijina mm -hmm. with her 
awesome piano skills. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just it's a, it's a lovely song. Tell us about tell us about Seattle. What kind of place is your hometown? Seattle, as I remember it, is a uh, very the weather. It's, it can be rainy, it can be sunny, but whatever it is, it's a beautiful place. Mm. Lots of evergreen trees and um, just driving at night, you can you can just you know the lights are beautiful, mm. friendly friendly people. Mm. Yeah, it's a good place. Do you have a favorite place to hang out in Seattle? Oh man! So when I left Seattle, when I when I did live in Seattle, I wasn't of the age of um, driving and stuff, so uh -huh. I couldn't like explore as much as I wanted to. Right. But my favorite place would have to be, I guess, my high school. You know, mm. even on weekends, my friends and I, I would uh, go and just just hang out. Mm. Nice. A lot of fun. When do you miss your hometown the most? When do I miss yeah. my hometown? When I miss my friends, my family. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a lot back in back in Seattle right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. My 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 entire family, my sisters, my my mom and dad. They're they're still in Seattle, and the the people I grew up with that I call my best friends. They're they're still mm. back in Seattle too. Mm. So I feel like whenever I miss them, I miss home. Well, I'm sure we can do a little bit of reminiscing, listening to a bit more. Oh yeah. Now in my Talk tight so nice to we care. Oh, 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 So, our second song, tell us about this one. This song is called Mama Don't Worry. This is also um, another song that I wrote about just like the, the feelings of home, the feelings of family. Mm -hmm. It's a song that I wrote thinking about my parents. This was around actually two or three years ago, around this time. Mm. And just like reminiscing of the times I spent with family during the holidays. I wrote this song came out, yeah. Nice. I mean, we mentioned family before as well. Um, do you see your parents often? When was the last time that you caught up with them? The last time I, I saw my parents was we antenna held a held an antenna concert and we went to we went to L.A. and New York. Oh wow! Uh -huh. That was last year and. Just being in America, I decided to stop by home for a little bit. Of course, and visited them. No, that must have been. They must have been very happy to see you. They were. They were. And are they very proud of what you're doing right now? They must be. I hope so. Yeah. I think they are. That's good. Is there something you really want to do for your parents one do day? Do for my parents? Yeah. I mean, one day I just my. I feel like the the end goal is to bring them to Korea. And oh just, yeah. And and give them a house and. Have them live, yeah. have them live comfortably, That's back, the ultimate back dream. in their hometown. The mm -hmm. ultimate dream, fantastic. Right. Well, we can also think about that a little bit. Listening to this. So we're on to song number three now. Tell us about this one. 
This is a song called If, and it's on my most recent album. It's actually the, the last song of Sun and Moon. And Sun and Moon has a lot of, it still has the acoustic vibe that, you know, my first EP did, but I felt like, you know, experimenting with different genres and different, you know, sounds and working with another team, I would say I, I kind of left the acoustic vibe just a little bit yeah and experimenting more but this song actually i wanted to go back to my roots and write a song on like purely revolving around a, an acoustic guitar mm -hmm. and so with that in mind i wrote this song and yeah it's just more it's it's one of the more chill acoustic kind of vibes mm -hmm. in sun and moon how did you feel with making it like is there a story behind it what the lyrics are about what kind of song is it in terms of that the lyrics are just, it, hmm. I pictured somebody very lonely and very, mm. and very, I would say, somebody that, that wants to be loved by everybody. Mm -hmm. But obviously you can't have that, sure. you know, you're going to have people that are against you and you're going to have like, you know, all these, you're going to have a variety of people, but sure. this is a story about a, about a boy who who loves everybody and just who wants to be loved by everybody mm. and so that's what i imagined writing the song it has a part where it's like if i were gone tomorrow would they wonder how i am mm. that just i felt like what i wanted to show in those lyrics were it's just it's just the boy who who wants and needs a lot of love and yeah he just i don't know that's what i wrote about it's hmm. brilliant. I've got to say, it's, this is actually my personal favourite from yours. Really? So uh, we'll have a, another quick listen. So that was our three pick segment. We listened to three of your amazing songs. That must have brought back a few memories. It did. You know, I don't bit. listen to my my music when you know just sure when I'm when I'm just listening to music. I don't yeah. listen to my tracks, but yeah, yeah that took me back. It took me back. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. I think it's, sometimes it's good to kind of reminisce and look back a little mm -hmm. bit. So uh, brilliant, uh, Sam. We're lucky enough to have you sing another live song for us today. Oh yeah. So the second song you'll be singing, uh, tell us about that song. What's it called? It's a song called Kyodum Bum, mm -hmm. and there's a rumor going around that I wrote it for you know a fellow artist and antenna named Chung Sung Won. Yeah. There's a rumor going around, and I wonder who put that rumor out. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, the story behind this song is I saw Sung Won Hyung. Yeah. I saw Jung Sung Won. Um, just, I don't know, he was feeling a little down that day. He looked a little blue. Yeah. And so, just, I wrote this song thinking of wanting to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. And that's how this song started. Yeah. And then I turned it into a love song. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. Interesting mm. inspiration behind this one. It's interesting, right? Very good. We're going to hear it live in the studio. Sam Kim with Kurt Yadambam, Sunny Days, Summer Nights. There we go. Sam Kim with Kurt Yadambam, Sunny Days, Summer Nights, live here in the CPK Pump studio. Um, we're now on the home straight, ladies and gents, for today's show with Sam. Uh, we haven't got that much time left, so uh, I'll try and squeeze in a few more things here. Now, um, Sam, obviously, it's the last day of the year. Right. Which is a little bit sad and depressing because time is way too fast. <sighs> time goes way too fast. Yeah. Man. Tell us about your 2018. If you look back, how do you think of the year? so far it was a very very interesting year it was a year yeah. of um a lot of growing up a lot of maturing mm -hmm. and just um i felt like at the beginning of the year i didn't have any particular goals mm -hmm. i didn't really have any any um any goals but yeah. around you know that time i was still writing music and i finally met the team that i wrote this album with yeah to go mandu wow we started writing the album it was a really interesting year. It was a lot of fun. So I'm sure when you look back, it'll be a very important year in your it career. It was. It was well. a very, it was kind of a turning point for me, actually. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Um, 2019, now looking forward, mm -hmm. what have you got planned? Like, 
I want to know exactly if you're coming out with new stuff, what you, what's going on in 2019 for you. I mean, I'm still writing songs. I'm talking to, you know, Antenna. I'm talking to my team yeah. about releasing more music, releasing, and the ways that we're going to release the music. Am I going to release, you know, a single or another album or yeah. another EP? Yeah. We're talking about that. And also we're in the middle of talking about my own solo concert. Nothing is fixed yet, but oh. I'm definitely talking to them about it. Okay. So we're organizing things as we speak. If that happens, I'm going to get my writer to call your manager straight away. Are we tickets for your concert, please? That would gotcha, be fantastic. Gotcha. That would be brilliant. Um, I'm so looking forward to all the stuff you got for us next year. I mean, new, new music. I think uh, full album would be fantastic. Ooh. I'm putting in so many requests for Sam to do next year. This well, is a I listen to my fans. Yeah. I listen to my fans' comments. Yeah. So, <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Um, overseas stuff. Now, obviously, in Korea, you're doing so much stuff. I don't know if you've been a lot performing overseas. Mm -hmm. Um you know, not a lot. No, not a lot. If you were maybe to go to maybe your dream place or venue to go do a concert, where would you go, do you think? Oh, man. The thrill, the the adrenaline I would have performing back home in Seattle. That'd be crazy. Have you not done that yet? I haven't, no. Really? I feel like that's still a little bit away, a little a little far away. But one day, you know, where, where I'll be able to see, you know, maybe my family and my wow. friends, yeah. the people that I went to school with and then the... yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> Seattle. So Seattle, wait a little bit. Sam Kim will be there very soon, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, right, Sam, unfortunately we've run out of time a little bit. Is there, is there one last thing you want to say to maybe your fans and people out there? To my fans, um, I hope you guys all have a lovely, lovely, lovely uh, New Year's. And yeah, please look forward to all the things that I have planned for 2019. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys also have a wonderful New Year's. I hope you had a wonderful 2018 and a better 2019. Fantastic. Perfect way to wrap it up there. Uh, Sam Kim, thank you so much indeed. And uh, Happy New Year as well. Thank you. Happy New Year's. Fantastic. We'll send Sam out on his way and we'll see him next time. Uh, this is Sam Kim's The One. Thanks, buddy.